In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you're able to create summaries with Retail AI and connect those summaries to any CRM that you want to connect or directly to a Google Sheet. This is super important for a couple of reasons. One is analyzing all of your calls. So you're able to prompt engineer your scripts to be better and better. The second reason is to know why the person booked before you have a meeting with them. So that saves you a lot of time because you don't have to go back to retail AI to see why they booked and go through the script. You're able to have that information directly in your CRM, making everything 10 times easier. Now let's get into it. I'm going to show you how to create all of these call summaries and how you're able to connect them to your CRM. Let's get into it. Okay. So the first thing that you're going to have to do is log into your retail account and log into make.com. Once you're logged into both of your accounts in make.com and retail, what we're going to do is create an agent. Now, a lot of you guys probably already have an agent, but this is probably the most crucial part. So I'm going to show you exactly what to do. If you want to have a good summary, you want to have a good prompt and script. So let's create a really good script real quick. So what we're going to do is go to ChatGPT. Now that we are in ChatGPT, we are going to make a script for an outbound dental assistant. So basically, this is going to be a dental assistant that works at a clinic that is able to qualify leads and book them into consultations in person, which is able to qualify leads from Facebook, Google, or anywhere you get your leads from and then book them into consultations in person. So that's what we're going to tell the AI. So basically what we did is tell it, you are to get this information, email, when you're looking to come in and date of birth. So now it is creating the prompt and script. So now that we got all of this, we are gonna give it some rules because the AI needs a lot of rules to make it work. So some of the rules that you would want is don't end call without the user wanting to end the call and stuff like that. So I only gave it two rules, but in a actual script, you would want way more rules for the AI to follow. So now that we got all of this, we are going to come back to retail. We're going to paste this. The nice thing about retail is no matter how long your prompt is, they don't charge you for it. Unlike some other softwares that charge you an extra cent or two to be able to have a longer prompt, retail doesn't do that. The other thing that we are going to do is because this is an outbound call, we are going to initiate the call with saying, Hey, is this user name? And then we save that. So the way we know what to add as custom functions is we are able to learn more over here and we are able to see what custom functions they take. What dynamic variables they take. So username, user email. So basically it's going to be lowercase username and then boom. Now that we got that saved, we are also going to add some other stuff over here for emails. We're going to control F email. Just to confirm, we are going to add this user email. And we're going to come back to the retail website and make sure that we added that properly. We did. We are going to save this. So now if we come over here, user email is added over here. And then the second thing is username. And then we are going to save that. And then if we come here, we have username and user email. And then we're, we are able to test everything directly over here. So now that we have all of the prompts set up and all of that, we are going to come over here to post call analysis. Once you're over here in post call analysis, you're going to want to retrieve certain stuff. I'm going to show you how you're able to retrieve that. Send that as a webhook to your CRM. The first thing that we're going to do is select text. You're able to select selector, boolean, or number. With selector, it just selects a check mark or something like that. With this one, you're just able to have a tag that is appointment booked. And then number, 
is basically users aged. So very simple like that. So the first one that we are going to extract is going to be user's email. And then we are going to put text and then it's going to be user email. We're going to put in the description, give us user's email. And then we are going to come here and then we are going to put at gmail.com. And then we're going to give it some example emails. Jeff at gmail.com. Emily at outlook.com. And then that's all we need, but you're able to add more if you want to be more perfect and then click save. And then the first stuff that we are going to start pooling is going to be Jeff. And then we're all going to save this. And then we got the first one done. Then the second one that we're going to add is going to be what is your date of birth? User day of birth. We're going to save that. Another one we're going to pull if we come back and see what questions we gave it and then what they're looking to come in for. And then we come here, selector text. What are you looking to come in for? Why are it? And then we click save. That's how we have our post call analysis. You're able to add more stuff like location, location, user location. Where are you located? You're able to add that. And then the other one that you're going to want to have is this one right here on point booked. Did the user book on appointment? Question mark and then click save. Boom. All of that is saved. The next thing that you're going to want to do is switch your voice to Kate. Click use. That's my, in my opinion, the best voice on the market. We're going to switch this to 11 labs. Kate from 11 labs is a bit cheaper. And then GPT 4.0 we're going to use, or you're able to use Haiku or Claude Sinet. It's just a tiny bit more expensive. I just go with GPT 4.0 because that's the one that I'm mostly familiar with prompt engineering. And then you're able to come here, have auto 11 labs. And if you want to have a multilingual voice, you're able to switch it to English and Spanish. So that's basically how you have all of that. If you want to, you're able to come down here to security and then you're able to opt out of sensitive data storage. If you're already done, you added everything that you wanted to speech settings, knowledge base and functions. Then what you're going to do is come down to webhooks and then add your webhook from make.com. Let's do that real quick. Let's go to make.com. Let's create a scenario. This is going to be tests scenario. We are going to save that. And then you're going to come here to webhooks. We're going to create a webhook. Then you're going to choose custom webhook. We're going to add, save. We are going to copy this. We are going to come here, paste that. And then we're going to save it. And then we are going to test this. Hey, is this Tosh username? And then once it comes through, you are going to be able to connect all of your stuff to go high level directly like this, add a note. So add note to contact, and then you're able to come over here and map all of your stuff. Once you have this webhook done, you're able to map everything to a Google sheet. So that's basically how simple it is to create a summary of your calls and answer all the questions that you have whenever you have a call you're able to quickly analyze something and see if that actually booked a good call 
And if it didn't, you're able to go back to your script and switch everything up to make sure that you're getting the calls that you want to get. So that's basically how you create the connection from retail to any CRM that you want or Google Sheets to get those summaries. Now, if you need any other help with that, feel free to leave a question in the comment section. Or if you want me implementing an AI dialer into your business, feel free to book a call at Simpano.com. And lastly, if you want to be caught up on the most recent AI news, feel free to join my Telegram or my newsletter.